Okay, here we are at 801 Labs. And we're on camera, but so I have one too. Uh, we're gonna meet the DC801 group. There's Grifter. How's it going, coming up? It's like, let's take uh, a look at the... Uh, DC-801 and 801 Nice. This is like, there's some of the DC-801 people right there. Cool. Show us uh, around a little bit of what, what you got here. Sure. All right. Uh, we'll start over here. Cool. I think the guy was watching porn. We closed that really quick. I'm not going to judge. This is our classroom, so uh, we try to host as, nice. as many classes that we can open to the public, anybody from the community. Um, doesn't just ha doesn't have to be the hacker community can come in and learn about security. Very cool. Try to um, get their head right. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, we, we call this room the conference room, uh, mostly because when we moved in, that table was there, and we thought it would be funny. So hacking <laughs> serious room. business. We don't, really, conference room. don't really have a lot of conferences, but it's cool. Uh, this is our our long oh, pick wow. village. Yeah, so we we have a bunch of stuff. Not all of it's here. We actually. Um, there's a there's a fair amount in my trunk right now that needs to come back upstairs. Are, are those drawers locked or, or would that defeat the purpose? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, make an excellent point. Maybe we should lock them. And that should be part of the Exactly. Like, in order to get to the lock boards, you have to get them out of the drawer. Exactly. There's a couple of pigs in there. Lots of, a lot of Wi Fi gear. Nice. Our, our hardware hacking village. So, um, yeah, we this have, is our, a we lot have of our own space. villages. This is nice, man. Thanks. We, uh, we like it. It's. Um, it's still Very a work cool. in progress, but, um, but yeah, it's, cool. it's home right now. So we've got our, our amateur radio room, so um, nice. we've got a repeater set up. That, yeah. Those wires run up to the roof where we've got a couple of different antennas set up, oh, up awesome. there. And it's, uh, we've got, uh, we actually just did a ham radio class um, oh, out cool. here. And, uh, and we had four guys get their hand license just recently. Nice. So, yeah, we're trying to continue got, to grow that number. I got an instant visual of Christian Slater and pump up the volume. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let's go. Yeah. So here's just another one. We have uh, member lockers. Like, so nice. people just store their projects and stuff in them out. Very cool. And, you know, have some place to put it. Bring it for our people. So cool. to members. Yeah. Right. Like, Hello. Hey. Hey. Yeah. We need a, we need a, like a room. We just brought in that new rack, so it doesn't have nice. anything in it yet. Our, uh, some we've got a bunch more gear. There's actually some nice. stuff leaning up against the walls yeah. and over here back in the corner as well. Wow. But, uh, Very cool. Yeah, it's coming together. It's doing really well, man. This is the, uh, awesome. the board room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. um, but mostly right now it's just for, for storage and stuff. We also... Um, we got the staff supplies there very where, nicely. It's where, we, it's where we keep the beer. <laughs> exactly. So we do have members of space who are under 21. You know, and so yeah. Uh, we want to make sure we keep that separate from, cool. from all the rest of the stuff. You see the one? Very cool. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> here's the break room. So normally we try to uh, mm -hmm. we try to keep this stocked uh, fairly well. Nice. Do and everything. It's, it's very nice. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so I like the case. Brad I like the Brad poster. Yeah. Gotta Shout call out that out. Nurse. Yeah. We love the nurse. Um, yeah. let's, let's go sit down. Can we go sit in the boardroom for a second? I put something on there and I think it's So one of the things I wanna do yeah, yeah. one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, is um, how did DC801 start? When, when did when did it start out? Um, so it's and, not, and what was your what's your participation? How how did uh, what's your involvement in it? So um, my initial involvement and, and your name people, would actually help yes, too. Oh, so hi, <laughs> I'm, I'm Grifter. So um, so actually, uh, DC Groups was actually my idea. I know that sounds arrogant, <laughs> um, but it is actually true, and that stems from I guess years ago. Um, I had a little discomfort with how um, political 2600 was getting and I felt like especially where a lot of the folks who were coming out to to the meetings and stuff were teenagers and you know young adults or whatever and I felt like you know we shouldn't be trying to force political agendas on them and so I called up DT and I said hey here's my issue I think maybe DEF CON should do something give people an alternative you know allow them to you know host something where it falls under the umbrella of DEF CON but we're allowed to make it our own 
Um, he said, that's great. Let's give Russ a call. Russ is like the, I, I call him the head vampire of like <laughs> of DEF CON. He's involved in everything. He's brought a bunch of really key people into the organization as well. So we called up Russ out in Colorado Springs. Um, talked to the idea of it. He loved it too. So the Colorado Springs and Salt Lake City um, DEF CON groups were the first groups we started um, in March of, I want to say it was 2003 or something like that. Um, and then that summer when DEF CON came about, we actually announced DEF CON groups. Nice. And that kicked it off and it spread like wildfire. Very like, cool. It was clearly, you know, we were alone in our thinking. I want to say it was 2003. Like, 2003? Yeah, okay. I want to say it was 2003. Um, so, um, so, yeah, it was just, there was obviously a need there and people saw that and they, you know, glommed mm -hmm. onto it and it's it's you know it's gotten out of control they're everywhere now. awesome so yeah it's great. I think it's good that we're starting the, the revamp in the DC801, and we have the first blog post from Russ. So we've got the, the two go. key guys <laughs> starting core, it off. It's like I think, that, I think that's a really good, uh, an auspicious start to, to to doing this again. It's like getting this uh, even ramped up even more and, and bringing yeah. more stuff into it. It's like uh, I think that's great. Uh, what do y'all? There's so many different rooms in here, but what do y'all specialize? What are the things that you think that uh, brings everybody together from the DC801 groups? Um, I mean, well. Well, clearly we're we're very much you know, infosec focused. We actually have a, a lot of guys. We started getting together and planning um, capture the flag events um, for different local conferences and and just for fun, honestly. Right. Um, but everybody who w was part of the initial DC to one crew that came together, and a lot of whom are still here today. Um, we all just love learning, and then, and not only just learning, but teaching, but sharing that. Once we, yeah. once we figured something out, we get really excited about sharing that with other people. Um, that's why there is a large space here dedicated to just a classroom, like, where like right. that's where we can go nice. and you know throw a presentation we're working on or a talk we're working on for some conference coming up down the road, and be able to run it by each other and get feedback from people that we respect and mm -hmm. that. Um, are part of this community so we can, you know, we get something real. Yeah, it's great. Seeing this space is going to be sort of daunting for other, you know, DC groups that are just starting out or just, you know, just meeting, you know, like at Arby's or something, you know, it's like or a restaurant. So, so how, how did you start out? When, how many people did you have when you started out? And it's like, and how long did it take to get to where you're at now? Um, so, it's a, I guess that's a little bit unfair because we started as 2600 SLC right. and, um, and we were that for years. Um, before the idea of DEF CON groups uh, came in. So it was more a transition from a name to a new name okay. um, with a lot of the same core group of people. But at the time, you know, like so you guys know, um, we were meeting in a food court at a mall. Right. <laughs> like, and we would have like 50 plus people meeting in a food court at right. the mall here in Salt Lake. And like, you know, we'd get the weirdest looks because there's this like mini like DEF CON happening in the corner. Uh, you know, food court just freaking out the norms right. uh, so uh so yeah initially i mean we didn't have a space like this we had you know a bunch of people you know meeting up over uh, long john silvers and some crap chinese mm. food so um it took a long time for us to eventually um you know put together the, the infrastructure and the funds to get a space and so mm. the space itself you know we call 801 labs and that's because there's a million different things we're always working on in right. here. Um, and DC 801 runs 801 Labs. Right. Do, uh, what's your start? I mean, because one of the things I think a lot of people are going to be interested in, especially if they're trying to start one, how do you how do you do the uh, organization getting the space? Like, do you, have, do you have a board of directors or do you have like a, one, a president? I mean, yeah. do y'all have elected officials? Do y'all do elections? It's like, um, how does that work? to Because, to, I mean, you got to understand that the chaotic nature of the hacker and stuff, sure. you know, and then trying to get organization out of that. It's like, well, I would say like, um, well, just a word of advice for those who are starting out or maybe struggling with their current group is to not try to do it alone. Um, for years, I was the one point of contact for um, 2600 SLC and DC801, and I was chasing people down, trying to get them to do presentations and trying to, you know, uh, work on projects or, hey, it would be cool if we all, you know, we should all speak at DEF CON, like, everybody submit to the CFP and, like, just trying to drive that kind of activity. And it eventually, like, ground me into a fine powder and I I was just burnout, um, and so 
you have to find other people who are willing to put in some sweat. Um, and that's something that we have now, and I think that's what's helping us be successful, is we do have a board. Um, it's made up of six of us, um, and we handle the finances and everything and make sure that, you know, um, the bills get paid, that, um, that activities are happening, that they make it on the calendar, that somebody's tweeting them out, you know, that something's going on or putting them on the meetup sites. and. Uh, that someone's maintaining the network here because we run different things on our mm -hmm. network and sometimes it's a hacker space things get right. messed up so somebody has to be responsible for fixing it when it gets right. messed up so don't go it alone like find a core group and I think we've got a great group of, mm -hmm. of guys who are all like invested in it and that really helps because there's plenty of times where I'm just super busy with like you know uh, family life or whatever and rather than just letting something fall through the cracks like as soon as I go to drop something there's someone there to catch it right. and run and that is fantastic so. and I, I think one of the last things uh, I like to talk about is and you should are one of the best qualified to answer this it's like if there is one thing that you can tell someone that's either in a DC group or starting a, a DEF CON group sure. what's that one thing you want them to know about the DEF CON groups um What's the one thing? That's a heavy question. Right? I know. Ooh, I, I don't. I don't just do the easy questions <laughs> and awkward hugs, my friend. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of um, like to just throw yourself into it and keep um, plugging away. And when you feel like things are going poorly, to lean on the other people who are in the group for that support. And like, if that support's not there, bring people in who are going to be that support. Um, because you know you're gonna need it. Like it's not always easy to do all this stuff, and it's not oh it's not always fun. Um, but being able to pull a bunch of people who come from all different backgrounds and stuff, but share a passion in, in one thing or the other, whether it's lock picking, hardware hacking, you know, just teaching each other, um, then getting all those people to come together and make something cool is like one of the most rewarding things in the world. Like I love it. I love you know bring people who have no, you know, knowledge of a certain aspect of security or whatever, or didn't even realize that it was important to them, and they come into the, you know, the space, or they come to a meeting, and they leave, and they've got that, like, you know, they've got that spark in their eyes, they're like, oh man, awesome. I gotta go get some books, mm -hmm. I gotta go do this, I gotta do that, like, um, I'll, I'll give you a quick story, like, uh, there's a guy here at the space who... He's not into security. He um, found out about us, and he's like, you know, it's like basically a geek clubhouse. So he's like, hey, I want to run these Super Smash Brothers tournaments out of your mm -hmm. space, and we're like, cool, you know, mm -hmm. like let's do it. Um, not, but again, not a security guy. And I was in the lockpick village, like working on some locks, and and he came in. He's like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, you know, just, yeah, picking some locks and stuff. And he's like, can you show me how? Can I? Can you teach me how to do that? And I was like, sure. And I just sat down with him for a little bit. You know, he popped that lock for the first time. He saw that. Like, we were just like, oh, it's super rewarding the first nice. time he popped that lock. And, uh, and I saw him, you know, like two weeks later or whatever. And he's like, I've been practicing. I've been practicing in there. I've been like, I've been working on some stuff. Oh, can you tell me? I, I couldn't get this one like this. What should I do? And like, like it, it sparked something. And, and Very that, cool. that was great. Like, again, a guy who's not into security, but you sit down with him for a few minutes, show him a couple things, and hopefully it's lit that fire. Awesome. We'll drag him into the hardware hacking village, you know, like one of these days. Too. Baby steps. Yeah, baby exactly. Steps, Gotta get steps, in there. But we'll get him. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, giving me a tour, and thanks for uh, stopping to have some chats. It's yeah, like, uh, it's great to be here at the. Uh, at the birthplace of the DC groups, it's like DC 801. It's like uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, I'm gonna stop recording now so I can go out and see the rest of everybody and start hanging out. Take care. Okay, later.